Hello everyone! My friend Laura is coming over in a little bit and we will talk about Project 333. We've been both doing it for this fall and we're about two months in. Laura's been doing it for the very first time and I've been doing it for two years. I can't wait for you guys to meet Laura. She's really awesome. Go! Hi! And welcome! Um, so we are just talking briefly about the wardrobe that we're doing, the 33 and 3. And if you haven't heard of 33 and 3, Nina did an amazing video about it, I think last month or a month ago? Yeah, when I month started ago. the capsule wardrobe for the fall. Yeah, so it was an amazing overview of how she does it, and she inspired me to actually do a full wardrobe decluttering exercise where now I only wear 33 items of clothes. And what, we're like two months in? So we started September 1st, mm -hmm. and it's almost November 1st. Yes, it is. Where I'm getting ready to think about the winter capsule, but not just yet. Yes. So let's wrap up how, what we really feel about the fall capsule. Yep. What's working, what's not working, maybe something we learned. Yeah, and Nina's been doing this for how long? Two years. Wow, that's incredible. This is my first, <laughs> my first uh, three months doing it, because I just started in September, so she's kind of like an expert at it a little bit, at least better than me. So I'm really excited to be able to ask her some questions about it and really get some um, answers that mm -hmm. I've been. That's so kind of you. I like to take things very, very slow. So I might have been doing it for two years, but it's a creeping process. <laughs> it is. But it's fun. And I'm glad Laura's enjoying it too. Let's... I've loved it so far. Like, absolutely loved it. It's really changed my life and made things less stressful. Wonderful. Let's so, talk about it. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to ask you a few questions that I have for you. Um, and are you happy with your capsule choices this season? I am really happy with the choices I made. The weather didn't quite cooperate this time around because normally it's quite warm in the fall and it only gets colder mid-November, maybe December. Um, that, that you really need your winter jackets and you can often wear just dresses and this time around Right when the capsule started there were some storms and it got really really cold. So <laughs> I had a few pieces that weren't weather appropriate and we live in Salt Lake City mm -hmm. So it gets very cold. Were you happy with all the choices you made? I actually really was. I actually kept three coats because I have a love of coats and I just added another one in there because I started out with, I think close to, did I say 14 coats? And so I'm luck, I, I'm glad I added another one in there because we did get some cold weather. Mm -hmm. But how I use a lot of my jackets is so that I can put them on top of things that I already have. Um, I was really happy with it. However, I'm noticing I'm not wearing everything. Like, for example, this, I decided to do a butt, uh, a, what is this? Like button a, down. a button down. Um, because, you know, everybody needs one of these in their closet, apparently. And first off, I have never worn this before my capsule. And I put it into my capsule saying, like, I'm definitely going to wear this. This is definitely going to be my shining moment when I start loving this button down, <laughs> right? Because, like, apparently you need one of these. I have yet to wear it. And, like, I think this capsule is really set. Like, I have 33 items of clothing, but yet this has never been chosen. So what do you think is the reason you don't like it? Um, or you don't love it? It's sheer. I'm not really certain how to wear it 100%. I feel like it looks weird when there's like colors underneath of it because it's so white. And then when I wear white underneath of it, I just... I, I don't do that. I don't do sheer white where you have to wear something underneath. No, I'm not really liking it very much at all. So honestly, I think this is going to be one of the items that I officially donate. It's not going to make the cut? I don't think it's going to make the cut, honestly. And, but it's nice because you know how many times I've go, gone through my wardrobe over the years? Like, hundreds. This Pulling made the cut? This every made the time. Move? Every time it made the cut because I said everybody needs one of these in their closet. 
And what I'm learning is, is like during this process that maybe my style is different, you know? And that's okay if I don't own yeah, I a had, button down. I had some button downs that were uh, professional ones, but they had, they were see through, they were uncomfortable, right. they didn't breathe well. They had to go. Oh, yep. So I'm excited to get rid of that. How are you happy with yours though? Did, was there anything that didn't make the cut or something that you have really noticed over the last two months of the fall capsule? That will be moving out for good? Mm -hmm. mm, I don't think there's anything that will move out for good okay. this time around. I'm really happy to say that. Um, I did a lot of whittling, but there might be some items that will go into into my box for right. the winter. Definitely. And I will have to think about it. There's a gray item. I don't do well with gray items. Right. And I still love it. Right. So I'm still wearing it even though it doesn't really suit me. Okay. Oh, is there anything that you wanted to is there anything that you wanted to buy for your winter capsule? Something in particular that you don't have right now? Yeah, so one of the things I was focusing on this year with capsule dressing and um, dressing in general was having base layers. So maybe having a nice pair of socks, I took care of that. Mm -hmm. I made some good choices there. Making sure I have um, underwear that's appropriate and also not ready. Um, that's yes. important. <laughs> yes. But one of the things that's on my uh, list to do is looking into sleepwear. Because uh -huh. I wear the same sweats that were hand-me-down to begin with when I got right. it about five years ago. Right. It's not cute <laughs> <laughs> at all. It starts getting to the point where you can see sunlight through it. <laughs> I'm sure my husband doesn't think it's the most cutest thing <laughs> he's ever seen me in. Um, so I might look for something appropriate like this, but that's not part of my capsule, but it's something that I might be looking to purchase. Uh, another thing is um, I am really inspired by um, white clothes. Not the see-through kind, <laughs> um, but especially for winter, winter white, I find really um, inspiring and maybe it's something I could do. So I'm looking to um, acquire a hat, oh. a white hat, maybe a white scarf as well. So I talked to my friend um, and she wants to crochet me. <gasps> Hopefully that's going to work. That's awesome. I would be very excited about it. That's super awesome. How about you? Do you have any? I think I think the biggest problem for me is, is I own too much. I'm coming from the point where like I own way too much. When I first did my capsule, I had over nine bags just bagged up and placed downstairs. Mm -hmm. So I don't think there's anything that I'm ever gonna have to ever buy again. <laughs> I joke, but somewhat serious. But one of the things you could do is you can trade with somebody. You can yes. attend a clothing swap or you could even talk to one of your friends and say, I don't, I'm not in the market to buy anything. Right. But do you have something that we can swap for this season? Yeah. That might work. Yeah. And I'm really, I, I really want to plan like a, a local clothing swap too in our area. Wouldn't that be fun? That would be a lot of fun. Yeah. So um, I don't think there's anything that I necessarily need to buy for winter. I'm always cold all the time, so I tend to collect a lot of colder items a lot of the times compared to, like, summery items. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't think there's So you have the cold there. department all I have the care cold of. department, like, That was my issue. I was always of. cold, and I had all the inappropriate clothing. <laughs> Yeah, I'm always cold, and I luckily have appropriate clothing for it. Now I have the appropriate non-cute non clothing. <laughs> for example, a heated vest. No. <laughs> yes. You still have it. And it's in an ugly color, too, but it's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Probably nice for, like, this Salt Lake winter. 
it does home that's coming upon us. It's it's definitely something I need. Yes, absolutely. Okay. What are your goals for your winter capsule? I really would like to um, mostly get my items secondhand. Right. Or to purchase them from something that I've really researched it's handmade or it's from a sustainable brand Mm -hmm. but reasonable to attain if i'm getting it from a sustainable brand in australia i'm not interested right to have it shipped all over the place right um another thing i'm really um passionate about is i want the fabric Mm -hmm. to be breathable oh awesome because i noticed that when i was whittling down like you were I had some items that I really, really loved, and they were pretty, and when I started wearing them more, I noticed that the fabric wasn't ideal, Mm -hmm. and um, it didn't breathe well, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or it wasn't natural, so that's something that I'm slowly want to work toward. If I'm making new trades, acquisitions, something that I buy, it's important to me that the fabric is something that breathes, something that's um, a good material for me and for people and for animals. Yes, absolutely. So, but that takes a lot of time. I can't just say, tomorrow I want to have a sustainable closet. So, I'm throwing out all of the, you know, not so good choices um, out tomorrow. Yes. And, and I'm I, starting from scratch. I don't have the money. I don't think it's um, the right thing to do either. Right. And some of us really want to say, well, I am doing this tomorrow. It's all happening tomorrow. But sometimes in the long run, you don't hold on to that when you throw things away that fast. Well, also, if you say, let's say, I'm going to be replacing a lot of things at once, you right. will have to make really quick decisions, and then yes. you might also not make the right choices, and then yep. you will have to trade in or get rid of those items too, and everything costs money, and that's also not sustainable. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, that's exciting. I'm excited to see your winter capsule. Are you a good decision maker? Not very fast. I think (laughs) I've learned that, like, I I give things away really fast. So, I throw things away really fast and then I regret it. And what I like about this capsule is it's allowing me to take my time and really see what I like in my closet, what I don't like in my closet, and things like that, so that I'm able to make those decisions a lot slower and so that the pieces that I choose and the pieces that I get rid of it's more of an intellectual decision that has been thought out over the period of three months rather than okay I don't like it anymore you know something really spontaneous and spur of the moment and for me I want to be in this for the long run I want to do minimalism in the long run and I think the most sustainable thing for me to do is to do it slowly over a certain period. So you of have time. a real reason for your actions, not just a feeling like eh. Right, exactly. Because then you start to regret it and then you start to purchase more. And my goal is not to purchase more things. Mm-hmm. It's to purge and really be okay with what I'm wearing now. Yeah. So. Did you have to swap any items? Oh, did I have to? I had to swap out some items. Yes, because the weather wasn't ideal. So I put this number in it, which I loved. And it's something that I got at a thrift store in the the summer. And I thought it would be so cute to, to wear for the rest of the year and then put it away in my seasonal box for the winter and then bring it out again. But it didn't work because the temperatures just weren't what is ideal for wearing shorts. Right. So I swapped it for a big winter (laughs) peacoat. That's good. That's good. So you didn't have to swap anything? There wasn't a piece that you didn't wear? There's been a lot of pieces that I didn't wear. But I've gotten, I've just gotten away with not wearing it a lot of the time. 
most days I'm in a work uniform that I've created for myself with my capsule with a lot of black pieces. Like, for example, um, these pants I'm wearing right now mm -hmm. are a part of my regular wardrobe, but um, also I work in them as well. And then this little number right here, this cute little dress thing, I usually will put on top of um, as a shirt and then the pants underneath and I'll wear that and I, I feel like I'm in a lot of black pieces mm -hmm. rotating through the weeks a lot of the times that I'm not having an experience with everything so I'm able to get away with not wearing certain pieces very Is often. that your comfortable color, the black? Yeah, yeah I like black. Well that's good and how do most of your clothes look like? Are they neutral as well or is it something that you would never wear to work, for example? Um, like I, I wouldn't necessarily wear this shirt to work. Um, we, we have a uniform, we have to wear black mm -hmm. a lot of the time. So I just pick black items that I wear anyway and I kind of push them all together and made them into like a beautiful bunch that now I can wear to work but I can also wear out, mm. if that makes any sense. Um, I have a lot of, I, I like a lot of just, I guess you would say neutral type clothing or mm -hmm. solid block clothing. So what are your colors? Ooh. Do you know? I don't know. I know I look good in that black and green. a long time. But one of my friends just got her colors done and found out all of her colors. That she loves? Yeah. Like, no, no, that look good on her. Oh. Is there but, a color that doesn't look good on you? Yeah, a few of them. <laughs> like hot pink. <laughs> I don't think I look good in that color. That's I, a difficult color. I know. But I love olive greens on me. So I do have a lot of olive greens in my closet. I have a lot of darks in my closet. Um, I don't think I like red as much. Like, for example, like this, this little dress here. Oh, that's um, my type of red. I don't think I like it very much. I've been wearing it and I just... I don't know. I'm not loving it as much as like I think I love it when I see it. But like every time I go for it as an option, I'm like, hmm. I don't know. It's not your happy color. It's not my happy color. Apparently my happy colors are like black and olive green. So. <laughs> <laughs> I love olive uh, green too. I know. But so, yeah. Yeah, I wear a lot of dark colors. Maybe it will work for Christmas. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. So that's nice. And also I found, so with one of my, so with one of my, this is also a black piece, but I decided to put a turtleneck in because I was like, well. Yeah, I have a turtleneck and it counts as a solid piece. Right. But I have not worn this. No? Not once. You're kidding. No. I wear mine all the time. It's my, one of my key pieces. Really? So I don't know. I don't think this is going away. I think it's just something that I'm really going to have to wear more often. There is one piece though I thought this was really interesting um, that I didn't wear I didn't wear once when I had a full-blown closet and now I wear it all the time and it's this little skirt here it looks like this. Oh very cute. It's got like a little zipper in the back but now I'm wearing this all the time and it's interesting because once I have toned back my closet I'm able to wear pieces that I never have or experiment in different ways with my closet that I never did before. Hmm. Interesting. No, that's my experience as well. Yeah, so I'm really liking that. And I, one of my worries going into this was that I was not going to have enough clothing, that I was going to wear the same clothing all the time, and people were going to see me wearing the same pieces of clothing Nobody all the cares. time. Nobody cares. Nobody knows. No, no one knows. No one knows. But the, this is the thing. Is is like okay? Yes, part of that was true. I have been wearing a lot of pieces over and over again. I wear these pants all the time. But it's so much less stressful because I go into my closet and I say, I know I like this. I look good in this. I know what I like, and I'm able just to wear it automatically. And another good thing about this is the laundry. Like, I wish you could see our pile of laundry prior to me doing this. 
<laughs> I find that I'm not switching out clothing all the time or putting on new things or wearing an outfit twice, two different outfits in one day. Um, and the laundry is easy. The laundry is super easy. And now my husband, who has not done the 33 and 3, his laundry is out of this world. It's like, uh, can we just get rid of some stuff? No. So, it's funny. <laughs> Does he feel inspired by seeing you? He's inspired by the laundry. Like, oh. <laughs> he's definitely inspired by the laundry. And, and he doesn't, like, and, and at first they were like, oh, 33 items? Like, nobody can do that. And now as I'm doing it, people are like, oh, this looks really easy and it's not stressful. And But it's you were freaking out just as much as I was freaking out doing the first capsule. Right. Like, this is an impossible task. Right. This is never going to work. 33 items is nothing. Exactly. And now I'm finding 33 items is actually a, a substantial amount of clothing. It's enough. It's, it's enough. And I think as Americans, or at least me, born in a materialistic type of um, world, I think that I need more, 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 more to fill this clothing void in my life. But what I'm finding is, is that it just creates more stress and nothing else. Well, you, it's just clothing you, keeping you warm. Exactly. That's it for the video. Thanks for watching until the end. If you enjoyed our chat, let me know if we should do it again next month.